Hey, I found um, a pair of pants, a pair of jeans. Um, they're in here. You can probably tell they're pretty dirty. So I'm gonna just dump them into the tub. They kind of look like they've been in a time capsule. Like, or, I don't know, under the sea or something. Uh, they're Wrangler jeans. I've been waiting to do this because I was hoping uh, my building would put their hose back out, but they haven't. So I'm just going to do this in my tub, which is probably going to cause a big mess. But um, yeah. So they're a vintage boot cut Wrangler. And they just like, I don't know. They look like they've been in somebody's basement. They're torn to smithereens. But you know me, I love a good like, I don't know, challenge. I love something that comes with a story. So here we're in my shower. It's gonna get this guy down. Try this all one-handed. Uh, turn on the water. I'm just gonna spray this off. It's gonna take a while. So stinky. Ooh. Look at the color of the water. <laughs> they are very, very stinky. Again, Ooh. and flip this over. There's a ton of debris. Oh my god. Okay. Water getting on the phone, sorry. I just wanted to like get them to a point where they're clean enough to like put in the washing machine. Look, oh my god. Everything is still so dirty. Okay. I think I have to put my phone down. <laughs> So I just hung them up. Um, they're looking better. It's a lot of debris. <laughs> so I'm gonna give them another rinse and then um, I'll show you guys where we're at. I just did a time lapse of a big long rinse that I did. So I just wanna get them like say clean enough so I can put them in the washing machine and they're not gonna make everybody else's laundry dirty, including mine. <laughs> okay, it's getting soaked. Um, pretty good like there's still quite a bit of debris on everything but sometimes what I do is when something is really dirty and when I get a shower I'll just leave it at the bottom 
of the tub when I have a shower. So I think I might do that with these, but overall they're okay. And yeah, There's still quite a bit of, like I say, debris and stuff. I don't know where they were. They were just literally sitting on the edge of a dumpster. So they weren't on the ground. They weren't in the dumpster. They were just sort of draped over the edge. And I went over and I looked and I walked away and I was like, um, no, I think I'm going to rescue those because I think they could be good. So stay tuned for the rest of the journey. I'm going to go try to clean up some stuff before I get in the shower. Okay, I'm going to get into the shower. Things are clean enough. So I'm just going to like leave them at the bottom while I shower so they get like all the soap and everything from my shower and the tub gets cleaned up. Oh, it smells like a swamp. <laughs> I wish the video came with scent. <laughs> I think the size is 3030. Yeah. 3030. See where these vintage wranglers will take us. Still lots of debris. <laughs> So this is the after the shower update. Um, I decided while I was in the shower to just put the plug in the water and uh, notice that there was a ton of debris coming out of the pocket. So I'm gonna leave them so for a while. I just realized the acoustics in the bathroom are probably pretty good. Um, the water is very blue. So I'm wondering if it's actually a raw denim because usually raw denim, um, a lot of dye runs out for a very long time. There's still, still quite a bit of debris. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Um, after this, I'll drain the water and rinse them one more time and then dry them and then uh, put them in my regular load of laundry. Yeah. All right, I've been gone for like, I don't know, four or five hours. Sorry, it's a little janky. So. I'm gonna let the plug out. I just have to press it and then it'll keep all the stuff. It doesn't clog the drain. Overall, I think they're pretty clean. We'll see. I just spilled a bunch of water on the floor. I'll keep you posted. But four or five hours of a soak in the water is so dirty. But... So they look a ton better. Um, there's still a lot of like blue dye coming out of them. I'm just gonna look and see. This is the tag, so 30, 30. 98% cotton, 2% spandex made in Bangladesh. So they're pretty close to raw if they didn't have the spandex, but I'm pretty happy. It's been a long process, but uh, yeah. Let's see what happens next. I'm just gonna let them dry overnight and then uh, put them through a regular wash the next time I do laundry. And probably with these giant rips in the front of them, I'm going to do some visible mending. I'm going to see how much stretch there actually is and then uh, visibly mend. Yeah, I don't think they're worth that. Call me crazy, but I like this project. I brought the pants um, out of the bathroom just to sort of get um, some air by the window to dry. They're looking better. I mean, definitely needs to be washed, but uh, pretty confident that this mud and stuff will come out. These are massive rips, I know, <laughs> but they could make for some very fun patch jobs. So there's still a lot of, still finding debris. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just breaking that. Um, <laughs> out the window let the birds make a nest out of it um yeah don't quite know how this is all gonna turn out but kind of digging this project like i said i like a good project 
and it's kind of fun to record it and share it with you guys and I'll get your thoughts too. This is um, an Ikea launcher. I found it and carried it home. It was abandoned in the lane, of course. It used to be blue and I painted it white. I like it. It's comfortable actually. All right. So these are the jeans. I'm watching Crazy Stupid Love. Uh, it's Saturday, it's really hot, it's a fireworks day. So I'm staying home to sew today. So <laughs> I just wanted to show you the before, show you how they fit. Remember the Wrangler Reds, the vintage, right? So yeah, <laughs> they're perfect for this weather. <laughs> All right, that's Ryan Gosling's voice in the background. I have my hair in whatever I have lit up in the ponytail because it is hot day out today. 28 degrees, I think. So yeah, stay tuned for uh... <laughs> the visible mending ring. Officially finished the visible mending. So these jeans were ripped open from top to almost bottom on that leg and then just in the middle on this leg, kind of, and then a little one there. I've kept a lot of these little pockets intact. This pocket was completely cut off, but I sewed it in there. And then this uh, zipper and button are usable. So let's try them on and see how they fit. I'm gonna make a YouTube video out of this because there's quite a bit of a story. <laughs> they feel a little funny because they're so layered in front, but I think they look fucking awesome. Uh, I finished last night. I had to do it in stages because my hand was hurting. These jeans have quite a big gape in the back. I have to wear a belt with them. Or I can just push them down a little bit. There, that's it. But yeah. So the stitches are weird and uneven and there's belt loops and pockets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my veiny hands. So these are original OG Wrangler red jeans that I found completely abandoned, completely ripped apart, full of debris. It took me about two days of soaking them just to get them clean enough to put them into the washing machine. I was saving water after my showers. So yeah, final product. I kind of love them. Next up is uh, another denim project where I have these wedgies that are black. And I'm gonna put, I've split them completely on the sides. And I'm going to add in, okay. So I think I just have to go another like that. So yeah, I opened them because they're a 24 and I needed to add width to them. And these are very stretchy. So they're ripped from top to bottom. Uh, I've done a pair like this before on my sewing machine. 
but this one I think I'm gonna do visibly. So these are the panels that I have that I'm gonna add in the sides. I have four pieces. So that's, those are the denim files. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the story. We'll see you with more soon. size 25 I think which I have never been a size 25 in my life and so I split them down the side and added other denim it made them really baggy yes but I can do remember the button trick I showed you so you take the loop on the same side as the button put it in there poke the button out and then do the pants back up which makes it almost like you're wearing a belt. So you just do a little tuck by the zipper. You're good to go. Super comfy. You know that feeling when you, like it drops the crotch too. So it almost makes them like a pair of sweatpants. But you know that feeling when you're wearing pajamas in public? I also have something else to show you. I picked up this uh, leather jacket. It's Mossimo. There's a pile, a bag of fabric. It was summertime and it was a bunch of remnants, a bunch of scraps, and in there was this jacket. So there's, yeah, there's the tag Mossimo. I think it's a size small. The jacket was missing an arm and there was also a big chunk cut out of here and then the lining was all fucked up. And, or uh, pardon me, screwed up it was all out and sort of ripped and unattached so i reattached the lining i sewed on that patch which is a functional pocket and i added an arm and there's lining in here too and to secure the lining i just stitched it to the arm it made a bit of a pucker but it sort of all just goes so here, this is what this looks like. I love this jacket. It's like perfectly worn. It feels like, oh, I don't know. I have to kind of like, to like button it because it's a very thin fit. Button this one too, so it's not so bulgy. So yeah, uh, I don't have my glasses on right now. I'm just getting ready to go out. I have a gig tonight, but I just thought I would show you guys this outfit that I created. This is, I think, better just open, loose. I love this outfit. Denim and old leather. You want to see the butt? It's the butt. <laughs> loose, loose fitting, relaxed, ripping the knee, panels. You want to do it too, just slice your jeans right open. If you pull the side seam apart, you will see the stitches. Get a seam ripper or a little pair of scissors that have a very pointy end and clip all those stitches and leave. There's, there's going to be um, a stitch down the seam that will prevent it from fraying. I left this one on. These ones, so basically there's just a seam in the middle that originally attached these two sides together, rip that seam out, and then cut the top band, and then just sew in. And then either put on a belt or loop. That's it. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, and this is the best thing about this jacket. Pop the collar. And yeah, so you don't see the pucker that I created by attaching the lining because I just made a cuff and it doesn't show. Little pucker there, but it looks like it's intentional from sewing the arm. There's always flaws. That's what I love about this stuff. Have a great day. <laughs>